Hello and welcome. Good morning. Welcome to what's it called? Strump Shaw Steam, Steam Rally, Rally 2022. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm so so excited. It's incredibly exciting. It's a bit steamy. Yeah, already I'm smelling stuff. It's a lovely smell. And... It's a lovely smell. Yeah. Yeah. Um this is our it's the Norfolk uh Caravan and Mods Home Club section. Yeah. We're in here and we're in the corner like hidden. It's it's cool. We're in a nice little yeah. spot. <laughs> We've got nice neighbours, we're happy. We don't know where the actual events are. I think it's just dotted around, so it's a matter of just travelling about and seeing what's what, yeah? Well, I'm seeing there's a car park over there, and there's a yeah. lot of people walking over there, so I'm guessing most of it's over there. Okay. And as you can see, in this direction, nearly every caravan seems to have like a little tiny steam... Miniature. A little miniature yeah. uh, steam engine. And it smells... Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? should we go up there? Talking about gorgeous. Look at you. Oh, don't be funny. <laughs> you look amazing today, Mazzy. Oh, thanks, babe. You I'm, look cute too. I'm, I'm going to be so proud being seen with you today. Oh, thanks, babe. You knew I was a bit anxious about wearing this today. <laughs> but it's hot. It's really hot today. It's going to be about uh, 17, 18 degrees. Just a lovely temperature. Full sun all day. Let's go enjoy yourself. Yeah. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> okay, so we don't know where to start. Let's start with this one. I'm a bit annoyed now. Why? Because we had a programme and it told you all about each individual yeah, steam in train. No, I only oh. took a couple of pages out. But each one is numbered, like that's 109. And you could read about oh. it and it'll tell you all about it. Oh, I see. We'll have to bring it on another day. Well, this is cute. I love, absolutely love stuff like this. And although Dan is a train, or was a train spotter in the past. A train spotter, yeah. This isn't actually your kind of thing, is it? I was never into steam. I was into diesel because I'm too young to... Yeah. ...for the steam era. Well, but I'm loving magnificent. it. I'm loving it. Do you think that's like a tax disc on there? Um... <laughs> I don't, you know, for... I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing it is, Mazzy. It expires in 2023. Uh, oh. Look at the coal in the back, look. Yeah, this but smell is gorgeous, isn't it? They do actually take coal. What's that there, then? Just That's like... a seat. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful. Quite a little posh one, there. <laughs> Looks brand new. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Double wheels at the back. A day. Literally. Yeah, that's been reconditioned very nice. Or med. Do they make these or reconditioned them? I don't know. They restore them. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they make them from scratch. I don't know. I don't know either. So we have literally just set off, we've looked at one steamy engine thingy and we've come across a lovely father and daughter combination. Hello. What's your names again? Hello. Gemma and Simon. Gemma and Simon. This is Heather's family. Emma's family. daughter. Heather's family, yeah. Uh, and they want a photo with us. Yep. Here we go, we've got an old Ford tractor we'll be going past. Come here, Come here. Yeah. You, know, you see these old people on the streets with mobility yeah. scooters. If you're going to get a mobility scooter, you want one of these. Can you imagine going Perfect. down past uh, Marks and Spencers in one of them? Yeah, it's got two seats. We can both sit on it together. Yeah, let's look for a one-seater. Yeah, just learned a little bit by talking to the uh, chap here. These cost quite a bit to build, don't they? And they are built, so... It was my first question when we've come out of the campsite and we've seen a few. How much are these things? And they can cost anything from like 10, 12 grand up to 100 grand. And that's yeah. for your miniature ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you they can, can build take... them yourself, you can buy them as a kit, or, you know. They can take up to 12 months full time to build this. It's a good way of getting rid of a husband, isn't it? If we ever get a house, Mazzy, with a big garage, yeah, I will build one. one. 
I'm buying you one. Thank you. Hold you to that one. Oh, I have to quickly come over to this because you can actually see the mechanism on this. And I know all you mechanical men out there, some women as well, are going to love that. It's pistons. very well oiled. Look at the pistons going up and down. Oh, that's well good, isn't it? You can see all the oil in there. You can yeah. see, you know, it's not, it's, it's almost silent. It would be hard to keep clean, wouldn't it? Something like that. Oh, that's what the, girl, the wife's for, isn't it? <laughs> Men build it, wife cleans it. Right, I've got my eye on this one. Let's get over there. Ooh. Grand Coliseum of Light on Tour. This is beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, it's called a wizard. That is beautiful, isn't it? It's not running. I'm thinking, you know what I'd do? What? I'd have a modern version. I'd put some, like, uh, LED lights around wheels. <laughs> what, and a 20p slot? 20p a go, like a kid's ride. <laughs> you know, like you tried to do with our van? Yeah. Throw some LED lights well, in Tom, there. Well we were in that together, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful one. So Dan's found a fault already. <laughs> big fault, big fault. How do you sit down there? Your head's going to bang on the roof. I don't know, maybe you have to crouch or you have to be tiny. Or do you just like lean on that and your head comes out of you? I don't know, but that is magnificent. Baby, baby, baby one. This is the cutest one. This is the smallest one we've seen. <laughs> She's just promised me I can have one. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. We live in a motorhome at the moment, but as soon as we get a house, we're going to get a garage and you're going to let me have oh, one of these. I'm going to a motorhome, I'm sure one of these. Because I know it will get rid of you for 12 months because yeah. you'll be busy building That's the plan. One of them. That's yeah, the that's plan. the plan. I'm not interested in them. <laughs> I just want to get away from you for 12 months. Me and the Look garage with one of them, I'll be this happy. This cute. So, unfortunately, today we can't film a mall. We yeah, will another day. There's so many. We just have yeah. to try and remember which we've filmed and which we haven't. Yeah. But we're here for four days. We don't just want to bore you with showing loads yeah. of the same thing. We're just trying to get into the show at the minute. Oh, and... well, this is it, my love. Oh, is this? Oh, I see. So, yeah, this is part of the show. People aren't just randomly turned up. Well, no, I just left the motorhome and walked into this. It's yeah. like quite weird. Okay. Miniature train ride. One pound, Mazzy. It's old. One pound for a train ride. Can we go on one? Can we? Maybe. Please. I'll carry you. I won't fit in that backpack. Yay! This is my favourite. The gypsy caravan. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, mobile living through the ages. Oh, it's gorgeous. What do you think, babe? I'd sell them at home for one of these. I would say the bird is either dead or there ain't one in there. <laughs> I think the bird's dead. We could buy one of these and get a horse. You like horses. You've raced them. You could lift that, Mazzy. I could, what? I'm not going You could lift that if I were lying in bed in there. <laughs> Let me just stick you in so you can see. Beautiful. That is the cutest look. The, oh, that is that is so good. Love that. Oh, look, a big one there. Look. Do you have a look at the big one? Not sure, but this could be the biggest one we're going to see here, so I better film it. Beautiful. He's trying. He's trying to fix it because it's got a leak. Trying to probably polish the frost. You've got a few leaks. Yeah. You need an hand. <laughs> You've got gorilla tape, haven't you? <laughs> I've got some gorilla tape in the van. Right, okay, so that, that area was literally just leaving our uh, van, really. Now it looks like we're entering the proper bit. Some of them were actually in the store, them in the back of motorhomes. Really? Yeah, there was a motorhome with yeah. one of their miniature ones in front of it. Oh. So he must see. keep it in his garage of his motorhome. I see, 
Right, we're both ne uh, needing wee wees, but I'm seeing a magnificent little. Oh, there's loads of big ones. All right, so we've got the big ones over there, and we've got the fairground over there, the vintage oh, fairground. Vintage. It's not just your average one. It's vintage. No. Oh, check these out. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, babe. Good. What's for tea? Oh you read that? This one is built in 1903. I'm liking this one. I don't know what that's all about. This is a nice one. I really like this one. It's not been polished up for perfection for a show. It is for full of years. Oh, where's he going? He's coming towards us. <laughs> Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. I have no idea what is up there. But I've just noticed that they actually do have taxes. Now I was just going to say that. <laughs> tax ran out, what, 30, 40, 41 40 year ago? One year ago yeah. Yeah. It's from 1903. This family needs to spend a bit of money. Maybe buy a new one. Go. It's really old and it's run out of tax a long time ago. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is all about. Look, it's uh, Thetford. Oh. oh, that's quite scary. What would he be used for? Tar, tar macking. I wouldn't trust him to do my driveway. <laughs> like I'm saying, it's only day one. <laughs> this is amazing. Are you enjoying yourself, darling? There's a lot of steam, isn't there, and noise yeah. and stuff. Oh, I love it. There's a little mistress again. That's what that one's called. A little wagon over there. Should we go and see the wagon? Where? There. Yeah, I'm enjoying this one. Behind it is the wagon. Let's go and just have a peek. Should we have a peek? Daz is here. Daz? You know the motor, urban yeah, motorhome? Yeah. The best. So there is a lot of writing here. That's what it, I think it looked like beforehand. It belonged to a showman, Mazda. Did it? Well, that's interesting. It's actually got a good story. 1897. It belonged to a showman uh, in Lincolnshire. Warren the showman. I don't know what he did though. There you go. Let me just stick it in. Jacket potato and chilli. Yes. I can smell it, Mavi. They sell jacket potatoes and I can guarantee what I can smell is chilli. Do you know what I can smell? What? I'm not being funny. It's Cornish pasty and there's a Cornish pasty store. Oh. It. That's what you're smelling. Oh, he's off. He's off. Yes. So we've arrived at the best part of the show. This is where the food kicks off. <laughs> You've got uh, fish and chips. Cornish pasties, jacket potatoes with all kinds of fillings and chilies. We've um, got wraps. Deep fried, uh, not deep fried pizza, fired, wood fired pizza. Wood fired pizza. Yeah. Wraps. Wraps, oh God. And a bar. I think this is probably the best part of the show, Mazzy. Yeah, I can't wait to get a wrap. All we need is rid of these noisy machines and smelly, noisy machines, and That's it's going to be lovely around here. Yeah, but it's a vintage uh, fair is there as well. Yeah, forget that. It could be so nice though, couldn't it? Just sat here at bar with a Cornish pasty and a wrap. Oh, I see something there. Look, the oh, there's a curry, curry cart. Yeah, we're both there's there's a curry cart. together. Yeah. Come on. So that's the end of the steam engines for today, no. anyway. No. We might show you one tomorrow no. on where to. What are you doing? Come on. I need to go with. Oh. <laughs> Try. I'm not going to have it now, but I'm definitely going to try that. Yeah. Game curry. Okay. Game curry and rice, pheasant, partridge, venison, pigeon, oh and turkey. God. May contain. Shh. 
I don't Lead. <laughs> Lead shot, innit? <laughs> oh, oh, it's shot. Yeah. It's shot. I thought it said something else. What's on there for me? Papa John's. There is a vegetarian. Potato, spinach, spinach and chickpea. Is that? Balti. Balti. Oh yeah, sounds good. OMG, the one fan I knew I was going to be going to. The hog roast. And it's closed. No, Why I'm is roast. It closed? That was the one thing I knew I was getting, didn't I? Oh never mind. Okay, so we're gonna head towards some stalls. We're gonna leave the vintage fair till last. Vintage fair, you've got the show ground down there. Yeah. Which we will be doing, taking in the shows. But we've got four days. Yeah, we don't wanna do everything in one day, do no. we? No. <laughs> and now we're on to the stalls where people sell things. So let's see what's available here. Yep. I might be able to buy myself a, a steam traction rally, Mazzy. A steam traction engine. Lost it. Oh, Coleman's. It's all Coleman's mustard, Mazza. <laughs> yeah, you're obsessed with that, aren't you? Oh, that's good, isn't it? We've been to visit his grave, we like him so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. The lovely lady is just showing us a book of the original actual um, Coleman mustard. Coleman mustard, the pots they used to sell them in. Yeah. Or silver. used to keep them in, and they were all silver, look. Wow. They've auctioned them all off. It must be like tea, tea I think in the, what, when was it, 1700s? Yeah. It used to cost a fortune, it was for the higher classes. I'm guessing Coleman's mustard was, or mustard in general at one point. So the lovely ladies letting me handle this. This is a very rare mustard from uh, Taiwan. Okay, very old apparently. And I'm going to be able to open it and smell it, oh, see what it smells you like. That, you're going to ruin the value. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this stool is right up my street. Here we go, look, we've got a little bowl of fillet. Hours to make, seconds to break, please do not touch. I get that. Look at it. This is more my thing, Mazza, because it's what? like the real thing. Yeah. But I'd have to pay for it. Oh, what? It costs a fortune um, to go on them. <laughs> oh, the swing. Well, all you do is pull an handle. And I'll go be back honest, to I never went on them. You have to pay a fortune to go on them, but yeah. we don't have to wear it. It's free. Don't touch sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're naughty. I lo I'm loving the little puncher, the boxing thing as well. Gosh, you're so naughty, aren't you? <laughs> right, let me just take you round to see this one. Have you made these yourself? Yeah. You yeah, have? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did they used to have these years ago then? We've the been on something machines. like that, me. Oh, they're a new Scarborough. thing. Here we go. This is where you're going to get your um, little steam engine kit. These are display only, Mazzy. They're not for sale. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful, though, aren't they? My granddad used to drive Did he? Dibner, look, babe. Yeah. Little dibner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you made these? Oh, it's no. so good. Oh. Not for sale display only. Well, it's nice to show off your collection, isn't it? I like the fact that they've put a, a net on to stop the yeah. pigeons pooing on them. <laughs> no, to stop naughty little fingers like you touching them. Get out. Is it all World War II stuff? This stool is right up Dan Street. It's all there. Um... Where's Here that from? Go. I don't recognise the flag. I think of some home guard. Ah. While Dan's talking, I'm just going to scroll you up. There's some lovely, lovely bits. Oh, oh I love these. Toothpaste pots. I used to live in Germany and go metal in the forests. They look magnificent. I'm not really sure. What are they? Fire extinguishers. Oh, that's unusual. So this place is just full of collectible items, right? Mainly like World War II-ish. But there's things like this. I'll tell you what, everyone ask, tell us in the comments, what do you think this is? And we'll tell you at the end of the video. It's interesting. By where it is placed on the table, it might give you a clue. 
So we are going to tell you what these things do. This is incredible. Every item has an, a really interesting story. This, this in particular, it's like a, would presume in its That's military. That's a wind-up torch. Yeah, that a wind-up torch. To be quite honest, this is the first time it ever worked. So you push that down and the light comes on. It's not working at the moment. Charge your battery up. Brilliant. And then this here, go on, I'll give you two seconds to guess what this is. Do you want to film him, Mavi? Yes, of course, yeah. Apparently, the soldiers was ha would hang it here. Yeah. And if they found a mine, they'd put that over the mine. So it's like a marker. A, ma a mine yeah. marker. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, enjoyed that. And then these, these are the best. This is, oh, sorry. This is actual tobacco. Unopened as well. Unopened tobacco from, yeah. from the World War. We've got a tin of eggs. Ew. I'd Stew. try it. I'd give it a go. Stewing steak. Stewing steak with gravy. Now it has got a tiny hole in the top, so I wouldn't try that. But yeah. You've even got uh, Loads cigarettes. Loads of different cigarettes, cigarettes and tobacco. That. It's yeah. just incredible. Incredible. Brilliant. So, so in the wartime, when you had blackout, I didn't know they had such a thing. You had these on your headlights so that the light wouldn't go above, so the planes yeah. couldn't see you. The light yeah. would just stay below this uh, this I lid. I think this one's a car one. That one was a motorbike. That's a motorbike one, one yeah. yeah. This one Never heard of such a thing, but yeah, I should really imagine they would have needed them. Yeah. Am I going to get you off this though? Yeah. Oh, what a lovely bloke and his wife. You see, you wanted to go round there and miss these two stalls out. I know. Best two well, stalls no, in the world. No, I didn't actually. Right, so we've got an awful lot more to get round. Had to take a break because Mazzy yeah. wants a burger. Uh, hot, hot dog. Hot dog. Look at that. Oh, burger cheers. relish, burger hot sauce dog. and American mustard and onions. Yeah. Should we sit down? Yeah, I'll sit down and wait for you while you're eating. I'm trying to find somewhere where my dress ain't going to get to. Don't worry, I've got one as well. So I finished my hot dog. Absolutely beautiful, really nice. Five quid, bit steep, but never mind. Worth it. We'll leave Mazzy to keep eating hers. But the odd thing is, just as we got them and walked away, the hog roast next door opened his shutter. Oh. We could have got a hog roast. And being the first one queuing at the hog roast, Mazzy, you know what that would have meant, don't you? More pork crackling. We'd have got the actual skinny, <laughs> skin crackly, yummy, yeah. best bit. Got it. <laughs> we'll have to wait till end of day when there's just like the bottom of the belly left <laughs> and we'll get, get that crackling instead. So one of the stall holders back there recognised us. Yeah. We gave him a sticker. That. She had like a vintage stall, lovely stall. Vintage cool boxes, they were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're just talking about asparagus. Mm. Wherever we go at the moment, every lay-by, everywhere is selling asparagus. I love asparagus. Absolutely. We're in a supermarket yesterday and yes. you saw what? This guy literally only had, only had asparagus in his trolley and I mean a mountain of it. Mount of asparagus. Mountain of it. Is asparagus really cheap at the moment or is it just because it's in it's season? It's usually quite but expensive and quite well. I've never noticed people rushing out even the signs you know like pick your own strawberries they're now saying pick, pick your, your own, own strawberries asparagus or asparagus yeah i've never seen them before yeah so yeah this is the year of the asparagus apparently. love it love it have you seen this down here what, what is it? do not use the toilet while the train is standing in the station what does that mean i don't know but if that's the toilet mazzy I'd advise never using it. What kind of toilet is that? This is the right height. I'll show you up. Try and listen to the accent coming out of the speaker. This is the proper Norfolk accent. For an old card you like me, look, that's the right height. I ain't got bend down. That's another help. Another thing for you. It seems down here, we get like this. Can't understand the word he's saying. But. There's one word he keeps saying, because it's a dog show at the moment, he keeps saying, shit down, don't they? It sounds rude. And everyone giggles every time he says it, but he means sit down. I think he's got a lisp or something, I don't know. 
<laughs> I've just bought something, man. You're spontaneous, aren't you? Well, we saw this. And I said to Mazzy, I do want one of them, but not until we've got a house. And then I saw uh, this. But I can't stick that on anything. But then I got lucky and I found the perfect John Smith sign look. I can stick that on the back with our. It's going on the garage door. Yeah, in the motorhome. Yeah. One pound bargain. <laughs> I just said to him he should put the price up to two pounds and sell it with a free can of John Smith's. I'd have bought it. Look at the old scooter there as well. That's, that's strange. Yeah, a scooter looks like someone's made it themselves. How are we looking at this, Mazzy? Yeah, this is interesting. I've never seen anything like it. It's a railway uh, signal light. Basically, traffic lights on the railway. Stick it up in your garden. How did they get hold of this without stealing it off a railway line? <laughs> <laughs> never seen one for sale ever. Fantastic. Is it, are they called shoe horns or shoe something? Like? Oh, if they are, you're very clever because I didn't know that. He's literally bought these from an auction, hasn't he? Look I was just going to say, it's like a job lot on an auction, yeah. isn't it? For a cobbler, isn't it? From a cobbler. The They're yeah. heavy. They are heavy, heavy. yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> wonder if they've got a size 5. Wow. What is it? Well, I call him Jimbo Wag because that's just my lingo. Um, but this bed inside is so tiny. This is a. This would make a beautiful project. Come inside, show them the size of this bed. Look, it's just a shell dying to be done out. Yeah. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, this top on the outside ain't professionally done at all. Or unless it's just unfinished, I don't know. Uh, no, that needs buying and completely doing again from scratch. That is lovely. Yeah. I don't know what these are. <laughs> these oh, cages. Oh, they're old cages. milk bottle. No, they're oh, old milk know. bottle crates. Oh, yeah. Another job lot from auction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this. This is cool. This must have been off a carousel, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think? Possibly. I'm just not seeing where the pole would go, to oh, be honest. Oh, honey, look. Oh, now we're talking. I could put them in with magic act. Yes. Do you think you could do it? No, I can't juggle. <laughs> Maz is saying, can we buy a tractor? It had a sign on it, but I think it's just like a number. I'm looking at this, Mazzy. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is lovely. For sale, if anyone's interested. £5,500 on nearest offer. Ready 1962 BSA A10, new tyres ready to use. That's beautiful. I particularly like the the logo there. I love the big headlamps. There's just something cute about that in there. That's nice. Yeah. And I don't think that's an unreasonable price for no. something so cool. No. You know, if, if you're like 65 and you're a single man. Yeah. You know, you've split up with wife. Right. You don't have to split up with the wife to get a motorbike. You split up with my wife, you've got okay. a bit of money in your bank, <laughs> buy that, and you're going to get yourself a new woman in no time. She'll look really cool <laughs> for 5,500 quid. And not only will you have a new wife, you'll have a really cool bike. We were talking about one of these earlier. There's one here which has been for sale. It's sold. I came over, Mazzy, I was just about to buy it for you. Sold. There's a sold sign on it. It's lovely. It. You know, if you were rich and you had a massive garden, wouldn't that look fantastic? And one, two, three, four, five, six, six kids. <laughs> you know, you could have your family parties, charge yeah. all the kids, like, I don't know, two pound, pound a go. go. Oh, two? Two pound <laughs> a go. Get your money back in no time. That's beautiful. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Please. Oh. It's the Stevenson's Rocket. It's my favourite train, Mazzy. It's my favourite train. Hornby Railway. A real steam train set. 25 foot of track, 3 inches of gorge. That 3 and a half inch gorge model. Get it? £285. Oh wow, I thought that said 25 Oh, I need even, I need glasses or... Yeah. Do I, do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, one day when I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a please 
chopper. It's like a chopper, but a tinier version. Is it a chopper? I don't know. No, it's just made by Rally. Yeah, but it's choppers were. This is a rally. No, they weren't. I don't weren't know. they? No. I think they were. No, because I got a rally grifter and Craig got a chopper. I think oh. they're a different make. Tom So I'm guessing this is Rally's version of a chopper. Tiny, isn't but it? It's not got the, not got the gear stick, no. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. That's so cool. So we've only been here two hours. Yes. Well, that's long enough for the first video. I've got hay fever just started, so I'm going to have to go back to the van yeah. and get a tablet. So we'll wrap this one video up here. Yeah. Outside the vintage fair. The only problem with the vintage fair is yeah. last time we filmed one, I got a copyright strike for the music to play. Oh, did you? Uh oh. We'll give it a go. So we will catch you on the next. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Plenty more to come. See you Loads. all soon. Bye. Bye bye. Almost forgot what was that item on that table. Mazzy is now going to reveal what it was. Do, 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 do. It was a razor sharpening tool. A razor sharpener? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. Did anyone get it right? Did you? Don't cheat. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> um, right. We had a new patron, A Dexy. Thank you very, oh, very much. Thank you, A Dexy. And we've had one super thanks uh, yesterday, which was, an or today, Andrea Balderstone. Thank you, Again. Andrea. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Catch you all later. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.